Hey guys! Hi! Okay, rediscovered lip products. Lippies, lip products, lip glosses, lipsticks, lip balms. Lip loves. Lip loves. <laughs> because, okay, so recently we posted a rediscovered just regular products, but we've really been trying because we both have excess amounts of lip products really and gross. we're never going to use them all up and we're not going to probably stop buying ones that we fall in love with <laughs> but we both decided that we were going to take little makeup bags and keep them um at work at work mm -hmm. so that we could put on different lip products throughout the day yeah at least five days a week we're using things that we wouldn't normally be grabbing in our purse or you know when we put on our makeup so mm -hmm. we wanted to show some old things love and i think we have a good amount. I have a theme with mine as far as color goes. <laughs> you kind of do. <laughs> um, but they're just what I wanted, so. Okay. We'll jump in. I think I kind of have a theme for color, too. <laughs> Except for one. This is my one I feel like little odd guy out. This is my Clinique Spicy Honey. Do you guys remember when Clinique came out with all these? The very the very original one was the um, Black Honey. Black Honey, thank you. Which is great. Um, and then they came out with like five or six like spins off of the Black Honey. And Spicy Honey was one of my faves. And I have not used it in so long. Um, I, it's pretty. I feel like I, I misplaced this for a while, definitely. And I found it again. I do have Black Honey as well. Mm -hmm. um, but it, Black Honey is darker. And I feel like that Spicy Honey is a little more flattering on me. So that's why I've been picking this one to go to a lot um, and I like these they're really moisturizing and they're glossy and yeah. I like the way that they look I have one too you put um, this is lovely honey and it's funny this actually hasn't been in my makeup bag at work it's been on my keyboard at work because I've mm -hmm. only ever used this at work this has never been in a purse I don't think um, and it never gets talked about, but I do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, no. Um, lovely, honey. It's more of a pinky tone. I squished it into the top. <laughs> but it's light. It's just very balmy. Yeah. Just a light color. One of those, you don't have to worry about it. You just slap mm -hmm. it on. Um, but yeah, she's lived at work since she was purchased. Poor thing. Poor thing, Poor right? Poor thing to have never gotten to leave work. And I mean, she's gotten some love. I've, I've used a lot of it. Yeah. But she, she just sit, stays at work. So. God, I feel so bad for her. Yeah. Oh, mm. poor, poor baby. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to the world. She's seeing the light. She's seeing the land. Okay. Um, and so my saga of like pale pink-ish colored, <laughs> pale pink nudie colors, um, begins. All right, this is the Rouge Coco Shine in Boy. Um, this is a shade that I think every, why well, I'm, I'm showing you like the outside of the packaging. Um, I think this is one that everyone needs yeah. to have. Hint, hint I'm going to get it. Jamie. I am going to get it. Um, I love this color. It's just such the most like flattering color ever. Anybody it's can wear gorgeous. this. It's this one right here. It's just like that kind of bronzy, nudie, nudie pink. Bronzy, nudie. It's more pink than bronze, but it's still like a nudie pink. And they're the best, the mm -hmm. Coco Shines. I love these. I have quite many, quite many. I'm, I haven't counted them. <laughs> quite and you many actually of these. misplaced that one for a while. I did. I thought that my sister took it from me. Not took it from me. I thought that I gave it to her. And I even asked her one day, like, do you have my Coco, my uh, Chanel boy? She was like, no. And she I would like, remember getting the Chanel. <laughs> she's telling me she doesn't, but she does. <laughs> and then I found it and I told Jamie I'm the worst. I'm the worst. <laughs> Um, I have two things that I have just loved, and since I've gotten so many new things, they've just gone by the wayside. And they are the L'Oreal Color Reach Balms. You guys have heard us talk about these yeah. before. We've shown them in videos. Um, this one is in Caramel Comfort. Mm -hmm. Those were good. Gorgeous nude. I know. I just love these. That right there. Mm -hmm. um, love these. And while using these recently, I feel like they don't irritate my lips either. They don't dry them out because um, I have had lip issues. Uh, and this one is Nourishing Nude. I'm wearing that now. Mm -hmm. It's a good one. Gorgeous. Another nude, obviously, by the name. But it is different than mm -hmm. the caramel one right here. There is a theme with the colors that I'm going <laughs> with, I swear. But I love these, and I forgot just how much drugstore product um if you guys don't have one and you're interested in getting one i think there's new still colors out. came yeah, out too you can probably i mean i'm sure that's like probably one of the most popular yeah ones. you should check them out yeah okay 
Um, I am wearing right now this one right here. It's the NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee. I've been loving this one at work because it's just kind of like a color. All of these are considered for me like colors I can put on without really having to think mm -hmm. about like what did my eyes look like today or what color clothes am I wearing. They're just good like you can't go wrong with them colors. Um, and I love this one. It's a pink. It's a really pretty pink. Mm. And I love the butter glosses. They are a fabulous, for the money, you like can't beat them. Like if you don't have these butter glosses, yeah. you need to. Did you bring the same one? Ditto. That's all I'm going to say Great minds that. think alike. Ditto. Butter me up with divine gloss. It feels like it melts on lips. It does. And it does. And it smells like kind of like buttercream frosting. They so smell so good. Really nice. Okay. Um, this is so old. <laughs> We uh, loved these. We had such an obsession with these. I think this is the first one. I don't even know the name of it. It's worn off. I think this is the first one that Mindy ever got. It was a L'Oreal Le Gloss. Uh, I think this was called Baby Blossom. Mm. Something like that. It's the light nudie color. Look how, look how, whatever. Um... <laughs> They smell so good. Mm -hmm. These are great, great glosses. We had probably 20 of those. And it's like a milky, creamy... What color is that? My hand is dry. <laughs> um, it's right there. It's just, it's, it just kind of blends in, but it, I feel like it almost enhances my lips. Your, but, your lip color. Yeah, I feel like with my bottom lip, it almost makes it look pouty. You know what I'm saying? That well, dorky. She has a pouty Laura lip. Most I have no of top anything. lip. I know. I'm always like, mm. I have no top lip, but I feel like when I put this on, it's like, it's like it looks like it's plumpy, but it's not plumping. Anyway, they have great Spreading, colors. Yeah. A color assortment. I think this says 151, so if okay. I don't know the name of it, which I swear it might be Baby Blossom or Blossom or something like that. That sounds familiar. Sorry I didn't do my job and look that up. <gasps> okay, and now for my last two picks. For rediscovered things that I've been reaching for a lot, they're both hourglass products. One is a lip gloss in the shade called Child. I really love the packaging of these. Mm -hmm. I think that they're really pretty. Um, I've had this one for so long, and it has set inside of my makeup oh, organizer, pretty. like my little uh, storage organizer that I keep in my bathroom. Um, this is just really light. It doesn't give your lips really any color, but it's just a pretty sheer gloss. It's pretty, and I love it. Mm -hmm. I like the way that it it um, feels, too. It's not, like, tacky or sticky on the lips. It just feels really, like, soft. Awesome. And then do you want me to talk about my last one? Sure. This is a, a lipstick from Hourglass. This is a shade called Edition. Again, Hourglass's packaging is so pretty. This is, like, metal and just feels really substantial. Um, I love this lipstick. That's gorgeous. I don't know how I haven't, like, used this up by now. But, um, again, with the whole, like, forgetting what I have. Yeah, that's but gorgeous. I love that color. And it's just, like I said, such an easy, everyday color where you can put it on. I mean, really, of all of the five that I'm showing, like, just Child, that gloss, is the most sheer one. Mm -hmm. All the others, like I told you, were kind of kind of being, like, the nudie pink family. But this that's is just so, so pretty. pretty. Look at the... Get the little hourglass stamped in there. I just really love hourglasses lip products. I need more. We're not supposed to do these videos where we want to run out and buy more, <laughs> but now I'm like, I love that lipstick. <laughs> okay. All right. My last two very similar colors. It's a MAC Luster Glass, and it's in Instant Gold. I believe I got this. Um, you guys know what they look like. I believe I got this at a CCO. Mm -hmm. It's just a nice... God, my hands are so dry. <laughs> we'll get you some lotion. Sorry. It's just a nice gold. It's a good topper over yeah. other lipsticks. You can mix it with other glosses. I like it in the morning sometimes just as like a light color, especially like when I get to work and I've had on like chapstick or something to get mm -hmm. me to work and you just slap it on and she's so pretty and I don't want her sitting there not getting used. So that and then my last one, which is Clarence. Okay, it's a gloss prodige. You know how we feel about these. Uh, this is actually called Rose 03. Which it, never made sense. Because no, because this looks like nude, and the nude one that we love so much actually looked like it should have been Rose. more rosy toned. Yeah, we always thought they got those flip flopped. Love these, and totally fell in love with Clarins Gloss Prodige all mm -hmm. over again when I broke this out. And this really doesn't have a lot of color. Mm -hmm. Like, you can see it slightly <laughs> on the lips. It's right, where is it? I can't even <laughs> see it. Right here. Um, 
but the way these feel, how moisturizing they are, the, the way scent, they smell. Yeah. Um, Clarins Gloss Prodige. They mm -hmm. have so many other colors, um, but I'm not going to let this one not get love. Yeah. You need to finish the baby. Finish the baby yet. It's the baby. So, yeah. All right. Well, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Yeah. What do you think about uh, how we did our regular rediscovers mm -hmm. and then came back with something to this nature? Would you like to see lip rediscover lips like every few months if, yeah. we, if we have them? Well, we we really need to like cycle in and out. We have so many lip products that like unless yeah. you really set them set certain ones aside and say, okay, I'm going to focus on using these for the next right. month. You know, how are you ever really going to use them right. all? And like focus on them. Yeah, it can kind of be like how people do makeup baskets, mm -hmm. but we'll try to pull some and really find ones in our stash that we like and pull them out. And we think the best way is to keep them at work. Yeah, for us. And constantly try to put something on. Yeah, I mean, and yeah, yeah. exactly. Like in your car, your lip products might melt and stuff. Right, right. And in our purse are more like our cur our um more recent purchases. Right. At least I know in my purse, I keep, mm -hmm. I keep like my most recent lippies in there. Um, right. So yeah, at your desk at work is a really good place to make sure that you're you're yeah. using up some. Yeah, so let us know your thoughts. And we will be back and see you guys very soon. Okay. Bye. Bye.